So guys, this is the second part in this weather website tutorial. So in the last part, I stopped at telling you guys to get the API key from open weather maps. So once you have your API key, you can continue to follow along. So this is the second and the last part of this tutorial It's just a two parts tutorial video. Now, this API key is very important for you to be able to access their API. After getting this API key, you can continue. Now, this is where we stopped at, which was where we just passed London back to this page. But now, whatever city is a search, we want to get the details. What we're going to do is go back into VS Code. Now that we're able to send in data from this form to our views to our templates we can easily just get that data and then get the weather situation in that city first of all let's remove this that was just for testing purposes now and this also so now that we have done all this what we just want to do we have the city so right here So now that we have city, we want to access this open meta maps API from this our code. So we need some libraries. We need to import JSON. Now JSON is where as the JSON is um when we send a request to the API, it's gonna give us a response in a JSON format. So we need to import JSON to be able to actually get and then you know pass or filter this data and then we need to import url lib dot requests so now that we have this done we are very good to go so right here i'm just gonna say something like rest now this rest is the request was sending to open weather maps now what I'm just going to do is to say URL lib dot requests dot URL open. So we want to open a particular URL and that URL is going to be HTTP API dot open open with a map.org slash data slash 2.5 slash weather question mark then now I want to pass in some parameters say Q now Q is gonna be equals to the city now this city is uh, Q is actually it actually means query so it's gonna be equals to the city that is the city we want to get the details of and we use concatenation at the city after adding the city what we just need to add right now is our api key so we're just gonna say and app id should be equals to now we're just going to input the api key which we collected from here paste it right there so now we have inputted we have input our api key so i'm just gonna say dot read with two parentheses so now that we have this done i'm just gonna go on a new line and then what i just want to do is to say list or let me just say um json data now this is the data i get after sending a request to this url so i'm going to say json data should be json dot load with an s and i want to load rest nice so now i have the current weather details of this city stored in this json data variable but now i want to make this json data i want to change it to like a dictionary a python dictionary so it's easier to access i can just simply say data 
equals to so um what i just want to do is to say country should be string and then from json data we say sys and then we say country so now after having this we just use a comma to get some other details which we need now let's see what we need right here that was the main reason why I put this down so we know what we need we need the coordinates the coordinates so another one is the coordinate now they actually have their documentation where you can get how to use all these but i already know how to use it so you can just follow up with this tutorial so you can also get some more things about that specific location even more than weather situation you can see we're getting the coordinate we're getting the country code now these are more about geolocation so you can use their api for some more things you can just go check their documentation but for now let's stick with this so coordinate and then also a string making sure it's a string and then from json data what we just want to do is c o o r d and then another one after it we want to get the longitude which is shortened to long and then we want to concatenate it they just leave like a space or something now i want to concatenate it with the latitude also so we'll say json and then what we just need to do is also to say c-o-r-d and then right here we're just going to say lat which is the short form of latitude now we can put a comma to get the next one so we have the country code we have the coordinates now let's get the temperature which is basically what we need let's just need to temp string and then json data and then what we just need to do now is to just say main main temp which is the temperature plus k so this k is basically in kelvin so it's not in degree celsius or degree fahrenheit it's in kelvin so you can also you know use your python code to convert it very easily but for now let's just stick with kelvin and then let's see we need the pressure and humidity nice so just a pressure um we forget to add our so pressure string json data main and then pressure nice so now we can just add our comma and then the last thing we need is humidity humidity um, then we say the same thing string then we just say json data then we just say main and then we just say humidity basically humidity nice so we can also add a comma just to avoid any errors comma right here and then we can just come down okay so well, i think we're done with this data since we have it closed here already so now we already have everything we need inside this data so we'll say else data should be empty so now what we just want to do is after rendering this we just want to pass data now we can access this from our html which is quite cool 
so now let's come into our html so right now instead of all these um country code coordinates we can just use these same thing for all for the temperature also for the prayer humidity and I think that's what we need so now let's save this once we save this and we come back here now let's eat okay now you see that there's nothing in the output so now let's eat learn done now we press enter so it says bad request HTTP error we come down here unable to receive so we are having some errors let's go and check what's up yeah from this line the error is coming from this line so let's go see views.py so let's see most of the time this happens because of https now let's go back to our page london and we hit enter so we see have that error basically so let's copy this the url in which we are trying to access and then let's open it in a new page just to make sure that yeah everything is working okay now the reason why we're getting this is because right here there is no equals to so let's go back and change that so you can see that whenever we are passing a value you can see there's supposed to be q which is the query equals to ct then app id equals to this so let's just say query equals to then ct so i think that should fix our problem let's save again and we come back here and search for london now you can see very very good we have country code great britain which is where i live i'm just saying <laughs> then coordinate we have the longitude and the latitude then temperature is 274.34 k yeah i think that's correct then pressure which is this and humidity this so we have all this which we need and um i think basically that's all we need for this project to be working we can just do some little tweaks like let's come back here right here in the index or we just want to have right here is like an h1 and then let's pass in let me come here yeah the city so let's make sure that the city is equal to blank and then let's say city is city now we save this we come back here in here we can put city now let's save this and check Ooh. as you can see we have our page coming in as the html so i'm very sure the reason is because there was a syntax error right here so because of dictionary we just have to cut that do this then then we can just do something like this so let's save it and go check it out again so we hit enter let's wait for our code to run let's open that up so we have an invalid syntax actually so the reason is because um let me come back here is because we are not supposed to pass um a dictionary and you know this like this so what we just need to do is this so say data should be equals to data now let's save this and then this should work back let's wait for it like two seconds or so okay he's reloading 
yeah done so now let's save and let's hit london so now we have london but you can see that we have all these not showing now the reason why we don't have it showing is because it doesn't see it now as a dictionary again it sees it as a normal variable so we are going to have to come here in index and we'll say data dot data dot data dot also need to add them in all and then for humidity also now when we save this come here not here it's refresh and submit again you can see now we have london and we also have all these details so that's basically how to just fix that or parse that so let's search for another city actually let's see lagos now lagos country code nigeria which is ng then we have all this wow cool temperature then um, let's see another city and then we move on so texas now texas country code us and it gives us the details now this is what we want in this video one more thing that we want to pass is when the user comes to this site we don't want this to show we want this place to be blank first of all then once the user search this to show so we can also do that by first using an if statement so after rule right here we're gonna say if data dot country code then if we have these they should be how the country code should be if we have this then let's show this else which is our else statement or well, let's just end the if we don't need a else now let's save this and see come here hit refresh boom it's gone so what we're doing is we're saying if data dot country code that means if we have anything like this then it should show all of this but if not obviously this will not be there so now let's go and check it again london we hit enter now we have this but if we just come to the site normally we don't have this now, this is very good this is what we want so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial which was really fun for me building also if you did please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and if you have any question drop it down in the comments i'll answer our questions having that said thank you so much for watching and bye for now